Gliese 1214b, or GJ 1214b, is an exoplanet 6.5 times more massive than Earth. Near the constellation Ophiuchus, 40 light years away. It was discovered on December 16, 2009, by Professor of Astronomy David Charbonneau. It orbits a red dwarf star called GJ1214. GJ1214b has no land. Astronomers say that this is a super-Earth exoplanet, which means that it is bigger than Earth but smaller than Uranus or Neptune. Astronomers also say that GJ1214b has a colossal amount of water. These are five fascinating facts about GJ1214b. Number one. It has an astronomical amount of water. Astronomers say that GJ1214b has a ton of water, a lot more than Earth. All the water on Earth makes up 0.05% of its entire mass. While all the water on GJ1214b makes up about 10% of its entire mass. Number 2. The oceans are millions of feet deep. Scientists estimate that the oceans are 5,280,000 feet deep, or 1,609,344 meters deep. For comparison, the deepest place on Earth is the Mariana Trench, which is about 36,000 feet deep. At that point, if there was any life in the oceans, it would probably die because of the immense pressure pushing on them. Number 3. Its oceans are so deep that they are not really water anymore. Astronomers think that the oceans are so deep that once you get deep enough, it's not water anymore. The water forms into something called Ice 7. Ice 7 is a strange type of ice. It is strange because it's not cold like ice on Earth. It is formed from the extreme pressure of the water, deep down, that pushes and squeezes the water molecules together. As a result, the water forms Ice 7. And they kind of look like diamonds. Number 4. It is extremely hot. Astronomers say that the average air temperature of GJ1214b is over 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or 204 degrees Celsius. The reason why it's so hot is because it is very close to its star. That explains why its year is a speedy 38 hours. Well, that begs another question. How does all the water stay on the surface without evaporating? That's because the air pressure there is unimaginably strong, pushing and locking all the water to the surface of the exoplanet. Also, like I said earlier, it orbits a red dwarf star. Red dwarfs are cooler than most stars so less heat comes to the exoplanet, and that also helps the ocean stay on the surface. But the water there is swelteringly hot. This makes people think that life is unlikely there. My advice, don't go for a swim there. <laughs> and finally, number five, the clouds are not made out of water. Despite having so much water, 
Astronomers say that the clouds aren't made out of water. This is because, as I said, the temperatures were ultra hot and that means there can't be clouds made out of water in the sky. So what are the clouds made out of then? Astronomers think that the clouds there are either made out of chloride, zinc sulfide, or potassium. No one knows for sure though. So, which is your favorite fact? Share in the comments below. Please subscribe to Engrossing Macrocosm Facts and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.